In today's video I'm going to be turning the Raspberry Pi into a ZX Spectrum with the Elite Recreated Keyboard Replica. Here's the PI I'm going to be using. This is a Model 2B but earlier versions also accepted. Model B V1.1 miners. I'm also going to be using this cheap Star X 2GB micro SD card. 2GB is plenty for this project. I'm also going to be using the Elite Recreated full size. There it is. So let's get started. The first thing to do is download ZX Bear Emulator. I just typed it in Google and it was the first site that popped up. This one here. It should look like this. Now if you scroll down You shall find the download section. You've got your Raspberry 1 optimized image 2 and 3. You're going to need to download whichever one supports your device. All devices and files needed in a zip file. The ZX Mini, I had to download both of them. Just copy them onto a FAT32 formatted SD card. I don't know if this works via Bluetooth. I had my Elite recreated keyboard connected by USB lead to one of the R Raspberry Pi's USB ports, so it may work with a Bluetooth dongle, I do not know. If successful, your Raspberry Pi should boot up straight to 1982 Sinclair Research. Now press Cap Shift, Shift, Shift and Enter and you'll get alternate keyboard mode. Now if you go to press Shift and 3, it would change it to a toast rack 128, shift and 4, A plus 2A, and shift and 2 to get back to 48 mode. Now press shift and K, and this will give you a help screen. A spectrum help screen tells you some of the controls. Pressing symbol shift and K again will remove the help screen. Now press symbol shift and 1. This will bring up this screen where you can choose your games or your software. I've got mine stored in a folder called software on the SD card. You can just pull them on the root of the SD card if you so desire. I'll put quite a few games as you can see on here. It supports TAP files. So uh, let's try loading a game. So basically find the game that you want to load. No, I don't want that one actually. I'm going to go back up to Booty. That's a classic, that is. So you press spacebar to sort of insert the disc. Press symbol shift and one again. Now turn off the alternate keyboard. By cap shift, symbol shift and enter. Then just do loud as normal. The raster bars will come on. It's speeded up and there's now sound on the raster bars. I've speeded up this process for the video. And there you go, there's Booty loaded on the Raspberry Pi Bare Metal ZX Spectrum emulator. I hope you enjoyed the video and if you've got any questions or comments please leave them in the comment section below. Like and subscribe, press that icon, bell icon and uh, please share the video on social media. Thank you for watching and have a pleasant day.